Hello, my lovely Pisceans, and a very warm welcome to your January 2024 horoscope forecast. Two big pieces of astrological news. One is that Mercury goes direct on the second of the month, and two is that Pluto changes sign on the 24th. So let's look at what it's going to mean for you. We've got Mercury here going direct in your 10th house, along with Venus and Mars there. So I just think I should tell you that this Mercury retro energy, it's probably going to be with us until about the middle of the month. So it's a real doozy, this Mercury retro. And I had thought that I'd completed all 12 videos. I was super pleased with myself skipping along. And then I realized after the fact that I'd missed out something really important. So I'm redoing them all gladly, joyfully, creatively. But if I can help you maybe to avoid that by suggesting that you double check, triple check your information with any kind of important project, you might save yourself from having to repeat it. This energy here in this 10th house, the quest for meaning, searching for more meaning. Why are you here? What are you doing? And you're getting ideas, you're getting thoughts, you're getting indications. And you're also Pisces gradually coming out a little more. Slowly, slowly, you're being coaxed to come out of your cave more. On the fifth of the month, Mars comes into your 11th house. We're going to get a lot of action in this 11th house. On the 11th of the month, we've got a new moon. On the 14th, Mercury going into this 11th house. So a massive spotlight of planetary activation. What does it mean? The 11th house rules your friends, your social circle, the people who influence you and the people you influence. Communities, a sense of soul, a wider soul family, and also your dreams and wishes. So all these areas are activated. Mars is about putting energy into your social networks. Good time to do it. Good time for collaborations, working with people. Good time to lead some project or something that you feel passionate about. The new moon gives an opportunity for meeting new people, new connections. The Mercury gives you an opportunity to really think about the people you mix with. Because the environment that you mix with influences you. Can't help it. So is it positive, uplifting, nourishing, inspiring? Or is it not? This is something to evaluate and reevaluate and see if you need to make some changes. So this is a really big area of focus and it can certainly give you an opportunity to come up with new dreams, new wishes for yourself and also for the wider planet as we move into this new Earth frequency. On the 21st of the month, the sun coming into your 12th house, reminding you that solitude is important, peacefulness is important, and taking time out to recharge and revitalize your energy force will be very uh, positive for you. And this also takes you into the realm of the metaphysical and into the esoteric fields of astrology, numerology, all of these wonderful, fascinating areas. The big news on the 24th is that Venus comes into this 11th and Pluto will go into your 12th house, where it's going to stay for about the next 20 years. Let's take this, first of all, this um, Venus. Venus in the 11th. This can bring you love relationships, love friendships, a friendship developing into a love, harmonious interactions, common interests, an understanding of other people. It, it, it just can bring peacefulness in all communications. And you may find yourself here teaching and sharing information with others, or you may be learning from them, or maybe a mixture of the two. And the Pluto, so 20 years, and it's usually most significant for the first year or two as it makes that shift. So Pluto here, is really going to have you digging into the invisible realms. 
digging into that which is beyond the five senses and finding that there's so much power there in the divinity, in these higher cosmic frequencies. You can tune into them here. So anything to do with all the metaphysical arts, psychology, um, counseling, channeling, developing your intuitive psychic abilities, developing more of the senses beyond the five physical senses. We've got, we're multi-sensory. You may be exploring this. The area of healing, deeply exploring this and coming up with transformational information that may help only not only you, but others. So this is an opportunity for deep transformation on many levels. And uh, you're going to need and want quite a lot of solitude along this journey. It's going to give you power. You're going to get it and then you'll take it out. And you may find yourself involved in a very deep research project um, that might be connected with something that can transform people's health, the energy systems, the education, so many things. But this is sort of done in secret and then later it comes out. There's a lot to say about it, but I'll do that in another video, but just giving you some tastes. And finally, on the 25th of the month, a full moon in your sixth house, and this shines a light on your health, your well-being, making sure you're taking care of yourself. Are there changes you need to make to your diet, to your exercise, to the way you think about your well-being? And there may also be a change in a work situation. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in, so let's see what your Pleiadian Oracle card is. Beautiful Pisces for this month. And we've also, of course, got this Saturn Neptune in your sign all ongoing, which is about you making your dreams into reality. That's a, another theme. Here we go. And this is your card. Live today in wonder and joy. I think that says it. I don't think I need to say more words because it's a very Piscean frequency. You might want to get your own oracle deck from my website, yourastrologysigns.com. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and selling. Bye for now.